What is SAP Basis? SAP Basis stands for Business Application Software Integrated Solution. It acts as the system administration platform for SAP applications. Basis provides runtime environment, system communication, and database interaction support. It handles system configuration, installation, monitoring, performance tuning, backups, user administration, and transport management. Think of it as the middleware between the SAP application and the underlying operating system plus database. What are the key responsibilities of a BASIS administrator? A BASIS admin ensures that SAP systems run smoothly. Responsibilities include installation and configuration of SAP systems, performing system upgrades, patches, and kernel updates, user administration, roles, authorizations, security, transport management, moving objects between dev to QA to production, monitoring system health, work processes, jobs, logs, dumps, database administration tasks, such as backups, restores, and performance tuning. What is the difference between SAP Basis, SAP NetWeaver, and SAP HANA administration? SAP Basis, traditional system administration layer, mainly for ABAP-based systems. SAP NetWeaver, advanced platform that integrates ABAP plus Java Stack, Portal, BI, PI, XI. Basis evolved into NetWeaver. SAP HANA administration focuses on in-memory computing platform. HANA-DB, dealing with HANA Studio, tenant databases, high availability, backups, and performance optimization. What are the different work processes in SAP? SAP uses work processes, WPs, to handle tasks. Common types are dialogue work process, handles user requests, background work process, executes scheduled jobs or batch jobs, Update work process updates the database asynchronously. On queue work process manages logical locks. Spool work process manages print requests. Work processes ensure efficient load distribution in SAP systems. Explain the SAP system architecture. The SAP system typically runs on a three tier architecture. At the top is the presentation layer which provides the interface through SAP GUI or browser-based applications. Beneath this lies the application layer, which executes business logic through components such as the dispatcher and work processes. Finally, the database layer stores all SAP data, including master data, configurations, and transactions. This architecture is designed for scalability, reliability, and separation of responsibilities, making SAP systems suitable for enterprise-level operations. What is a client in SAP? A client is a logical unit within an SAP system that maintains its own data and configuration, independent of other clients. Clients are identified by a three-digit number such as 100 or 200. For example, client 000 is the SAP reference client, client 001 is a copy with sample data, and client 066 is used for early watch monitoring. Clients allow organizations to run multiple environments, such as development, testing, and production within a single system installation. What is the Transport Management System, TMS? Transport Management System, TMS, is used to move development objects and configuration settings from one SAP system to another, such as from development to quality or production. TMS ensures consistency and reliability during transport activities. It consists of a domain controller that manages configurations and transport directories that store control, data, and log files. Administrators use transaction STMS to manage import and export queues, ensuring changes flow smoothly through the landscape. Explain SAP profiles and parameters. 
SAP profiles define how a system behaves by setting values for memory, processes, and logon controls. There are three main types, the start profile, which initiates system services, the default profile, which contains system-wide parameters, and the instance profile, which applies to specific instances. Administrators adjust parameters using transactions RZ10 or RZ11, either permanently by editing profiles or temporarily by changing them in the running system. Profiles play a key role in tuning system performance and stability. How do you perform a SAP system copy? A system copy involves creating a replica of an SAP system, which may be needed for testing, training, or migrations. This process can be homogeneous, where the database and operating system remain the same, or heterogeneous, where one or both differ. The general steps include backing up or exporting the source database, installing the target system using Software Provisioning Manager, SWPM, importing the database content, and finally adjusting system-specific configurations, such as profiles and RFCs. What is SAP Kernel? The SAP Kernel is the core set of executables and shared libraries that make up the heart of an SAP system. It contains the dispatcher, work process executables, database interface, and communication routines. Essentially, the kernel is what runs the SAP application. Updating the kernel is critical for applying performance improvements, bug fixes, and ensuring compatibility with new support packages or databases. What is the difference between client copy and client refresh? Client copy creates a new client with data from an existing client, done via SCCL, SCC9, SCC7. Client refresh overwrites an existing client with updated data from another client. Client copy can be local client copy within same system, remote client copy between systems, client export import via transport. What is the difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous system copy? Homogeneous system copy, OS and DB remain the same. Simple backup or store. Heterogeneous system copy, OS, DB migration, OS or DB changes. Example, Oracle to HANA requires SWPM plus R3 load tools. Explain SAP transport directory. The SAP transport directory, typically located at USR SAP Trans, is the central location for files related to the transport process. It contains subdirectories such as data for transport data files, co-files for control files, log for logs of transport activities, and bin for executables. This directory is shared among all systems in the transport domain, ensuring consistency and accessibility during transport operations. How do you monitor background jobs in SAP? Background jobs can be monitored using transaction SM37. Here, administrators can check job status, analyze logs, and troubleshoot failed jobs. Jobs can have different statuses, such as scheduled, released, active, finished, or canceled. If a job fails, basis administrators may analyze short dumps, check system logs, or adjust job parameters before rescheduling. Monitoring background jobs ensures that critical business processes such as report generation and data loads are completed successfully. What is CCMS in SAP? CCMS, or Computing Center Management System, is SAP's built-in monitoring toolset. Using transactions like RZ20 and RZ21, administrators can monitor system performance, workload, background jobs, RFC connections, and database health. CCMS also provides alert mechanisms that notify administrators of potential issues, allowing them to act proactively before system performance is impacted. What is SAP Solution Manager, also known as Solman? 
SAP Solution Manager is a centralized management and monitoring platform for SAP landscapes. It provides tools for system monitoring, root cause analysis, change management, and integration with SAP support services. Solman also generates early watch reports that help administrators identify performance issues and plan system improvements. For large organizations, it acts as a hub for managing complex multi-system SAP environments. How do you apply SAP support packages? Applying SAP support packages involves downloading them from the SAP support portal, then importing them into the system using the SPAM or SAINT transactions. The administrator first checks system prerequisites, takes backups, and places the packages in the EPS inbox directory. Then they use SPAM to define the import queue, perform consistency checks, and apply the patches. Proper testing is essential after applying support packages to ensure no disruptions to business operations. What is SAP Router? SAP Router is a standalone program that works as a proxy in SAP networks. It provides controlled, secure access between external systems, such as SAP support and internal SAP systems. Administrators configure it using the SAP Router Start tab file, which defines allowed connections. SAP Router is crucial for ensuring secure communication, especially when granting SAP support remote access for troubleshooting. What is S-Note in SAP? Transaction S-Note is used to implement SAP notes, which are corrections, bug fixes, or legal updates provided by SAP. Administrators can download and apply notes directly through this transaction, ensuring that the system remains compliant and up-to-date. S-Note is particularly important when urgent corrections are required without waiting for a full support package implementation. What is the difference between STMS import and STMS import prod? STMS import is the general transaction for importing transport requests into any system, whether it is development, quality, or production. STMS import prod, however, is a specialized transaction intended for production imports. It ensures stricter control, requiring approvals and maintaining proper sequence, which reduces the risk of errors in the production system. How do you handle system performance issues in SAP? Check ST02, buffer statistics. SM50 slash SM66, work process analysis. ST03N, workload analysis. DB02, database growth indexes. ST05, SQL trace. Tune memory parameters in profiles. Optimize long-running jobs. What is the difference between SAP ECC and S4 HANA basis? SAP ECC basis works with traditional databases such as Oracle, DB2, MS SQL, etc. S4 HANA basis is optimized for SAP HANA in-memory DB. S4 HANA uses simplified data model, Fiori UI, and CDS views. Administration involves HANA Studio, Cockpit, and HANA-specific tuning. What is SAP Lock Concept? SAP uses NQ Server to manage locks. Shared lock, multiple users can read. Exclusive lock, only one user can read or write. Optimistic lock, ensures no conflict. Locks prevent data inconsistency during transactions. How do you check for system logs and dumps? System logs can be checked using transaction SM21, which records system messages and errors. Short dumps, which indicate ABOP runtime errors, are found in ST22. 
For lock entries and update records, administrators use SM12 and SM13, respectively. These transactions allow basis administrators to diagnose issues, troubleshoot failures, and take corrective actions quickly. What is the difference between SAP role and profile? Roles and profiles are central to SAP's authorization concept. A role is a collection of activities and authorization objects grouped for business tasks, created using transaction PFCG. When a role is generated, it produces a technical profile, which the system uses to enforce permissions. Roles are business-oriented and user-friendly, while profiles are the technical enforcement mechanism behind them.